Hello everyone and welcome to Quantum Break. Sorry if my audio is a bit shitty, but oh well. So this might go on YouTube. I'll see how the uh, recording goes. Anyways, this uh, this came out on Tuesday, but I just picked this up now. Just got money now, so. Um, I know very little about it. I watched uh, some YouTubers play the first like a second level so we'll see how this goes but i hope it goes well yeah as as you do okay okay wow oh fuck that's white Whiter than Europe. That was extremely racist, I apologize. Disable copyrighted music, yes. Subtitles on, yes. Okay, um, let's get started. Let's go with easy, cuz I'm a bitch. Ah, uh, this loading screen. Love it. Riverport University Experiment. Ooh. Love experiments. Why the fuck is this game so white? Okay. Why is there subtitles for that? The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. This game actually looks really I good. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world changing. He was right. Hey, come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hmm. Game looks interesting enough. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. Oh fuck! Wait, the uh, god, I should not have cranked that brightness up. Sorry for all you viewers. Why are the light screens so long? <laughs> oh, so I get to play. You'd been away for six years. That's me. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Join the protest. Paul I'm not gonna read Jack. that. Just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so. Still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Doesn't look like 4 a.m. Paul had always been a showman. It looks more like 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock. It does not look like 4 in the morning. Of course, looking at that side, maybe, maybe 6. There's nobody left to convince. 
the hell? If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Uh, you're very pretty. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Yeah, sure. Let's get some filler. Go ahead, check out the chart. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. And for what? I bet you're going to tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right, enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> uh... I've always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protests over. At home. I'm clearly walking out of the way, but let's talk to you. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell out security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because... That's adorable. Just walk away. No, 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 no. You're gonna be an asshole to me. Let's talk. Liam Burke, a monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have been an asshole to him. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome home. Bro. Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. He's a very we're going skinny upstairs man. to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then Jack, man. Tight-lived about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Let's learn about this thing. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. Well, oh, Jimmy. I love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle. You let Paul do his thing. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive is a species. Over time, we have cured life threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. 
But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. Hmm. This is, uh, All right. interesting. Do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. What the shit is going on here? Is there gonna be a quantum break soon? <laughs> Not cool yet? Welcome to Project Promenade. Five minutes before the fracture in time. Oh, oh joy. Shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Okay. You gonna you gonna tell me how you can improve it? Without trying to kill me? Oh hi. Oh my Jack. You know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack. Okay. Thank you. I knew I could count on you. Oh, narrative stuff. I'm not going to read any of this, so if you guys want to pause the video later and uh, watch it, then you definitely can, but I most certainly am not going to. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled Cronon Conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Where's the Cronon bullshit? Okay. Let's fucking do it. Time to blow up time. That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Okay. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? Core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got 